I like that one smoother. Yeah, it is a little bit smoother. The blue is still really good. Yeah, well, they were good out of the box. Yeah, they were. Guys, we're checking out the new Civivi Naja. Naja. We're hard going, J. Yeah, we're going with the hard J on this one. All right, we were told. That's mm -hmm. what we're going to go with. Sounds cooler anyway. Yeah. I don't know. Naja sounds kind of cool, too. Oh, man, Mickey, you're making me <laughs> doubt myself. We'll see which way we edit this. That's okay. the final choice. Yeah, the soon to be released. If you're watching this, it's, it's probably already released, Naja. These are going for $42.50. I still can't believe they're that cheap. I mean, affordable. Affordable, yeah. They're not cheap. Especially affordable. considering the gold. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that in a minute. All right, yeah, this is the, the brand new budget line from the Wee Knife Company. It's a different brand. Yes. Civivi, Civi is what we're calling them. Yeah, this is the, one of the three models that they introduced, and we're taking a closer look at this one specifically. This one is your favorite, too. It is, it is my favorite. It's my favorite of the first three knives. That blade shape, we are familiar with. It's the best part of a knife that we didn't like. <laughs> yeah. What was it, the Balanoptera? Balanoptera. I, I don't know how to Which is really a, a stupid name for a stupid whale. The whale is not stupid. Maybe he's a really smart whale. You All don't right. know that. <laughs> Fine. I just, I always thought it was <laughs> stupid to name a knife after a whale. But <laughs> anyway, the best part, I, my favorite part about that knife was the blade shape. And if you'll notice, this is similar to that. Yeah, it is. Make you want to, oh, there we go. Yeah. You guys see the mirror edge that you get from yeah. the factory? Yeah. No, that wasn't from the factory. No, I just finished sharpening this one. This is the only one we've been using of these three. The other two are, they've just been flipped. They're yeah. factory edges. Yeah, yeah. I'll just show that real quick. That one's the stiffest out of all of them. Is it? It's been flipped the least. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see a difference in those edges. Kind of. Yeah, yours is very mirrory. It's been about an hour and 15 minutes <laughs> or so. Yeah. All right, what are you getting for $42.50? All right. Well, it's kind of a big blade, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 3.75 inches. And it's tall in this dimension. I yeah, don't know what the tall. exact dimension is. But yeah, kind of a uh, curvaceous drop point, isn't it? Uh, let's see here. Well, it won't mean anything because we never do that. I know. <laughs> measurement. If we had a normal knife next to us. <laughs> yeah, we could yeah, do grab that. that one. Yeah, let's no, see no. if it is a different. I missed that one. <laughs> I was going to say grab a completely normal knife. No, that one. This one? Yeah, yeah. Completely normal knife. Yeah. All right, that's our comparison. Oh my gosh, okay. No, it is, don't you think though, it is a curvaceous... Yeah, she has you, curves in all the right places. You can't just call it a, a drop point. It's this a curvaceous whale has drop good, point. has good curves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With a nice swedge on the top. These are all satin finished. There you go. Really a nice blade shape. And I'll say, I'll say something kind of unique about this we're not used to seeing is this relatively large blade is thin. The blade stock, kind of on the thin side, right? Which is good for slicing. It will slice very nicely. Just don't pry with it as much, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Now it's cool. It's a full flat grind on that. It does have a finger choil. Um, let's go ahead and get into that right now. It's not the best no. finger choil. It's a choil that your finger can slip off of and then now, cut your finger. And now that I've sharpened it, it's gonna, yeah. Dangerous It's a little choil. crazy. Now it's, it's just not, it could be a little more full or they could have just gotten yeah. rid of a trail and just done one blade. Yeah, yeah. Deeper. 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 All right. <laughs> Let's use our words today. <laughs> yeah, for sure. What do you think, though? It probably fits your finger. I'd be scared to use it. Agreed. Agreed. Especially with that fresh edge that I put on there that I'm... Yeah, look at that. I'm going to say is probably pretty sharp, but we need to test for it. Okay, let's do it. Just because I haven't yet and... Make sure to turn the light on. See where we're at here. Anything under a hundred, I'm gonna be happy with. But 80. eighty, okay, all right, eighty is good. Not bad. Yeah. What? Are, what do they come from the factory? Should we you try know the, it? Uh, you know, yeah, the, the okay. factory knives. I believe we checked one or two of these before. They were pretty dang sharp. <laughs> what happens though when I get on the sharpener? I gradually, okay, I I create the burr. I apex the edge. That's fine. And then I get more and more impatient as I go. <laughs> By the time I get to the strop, it's just like, man, I just want to be finished with this already. If I go back, spend some more time on the strop, I know I can get a better result than 80. But 80 is sharper. It's okay. It's sharper than most households will ever, ever see. <laughs> okay, let's try the blue one. 
I'm just curious. Grams of pressure is what we're talking about. Yeah, these were impressive from the factory. 135. 135. I mean, that's that's pretty sharp. Really good. I'll show the I'll show our chart, our revised edge on up chart. <laughs> okay. Came up with. Yeah. 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 All right. Where are we at? Well, that blade steel. It is 9CR18 18. MOV. Frankie, we had, between Instagram and our introduction oh video, gosh. we had a lot of steel experts There's chime so in. There's so many steel experts on the internet. It's amazing. There was a lot of 9CR18 MOV experts <laughs> who all claimed to hate the steel and they yeah. wanted a better steel, you know, for that 4250, right? I just wonder what experience they have with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, I insert a lot of sarcasm here, you guys. I want to put up a chart, again, that you should pause on. All right, I'll put up 9CR18 MOV compared to some other common non-powdered steels. All right, just take a, look, take a look at the element chart. All right, yeah, experts. Also, everybody was saying that they wanted D2 instead of 9CR18 uh -huh. MOV. There's our D2 right there. Did you make lemonade with this? When life hands you lemonade? Yeah. You, I feel like... You stain D2. Yes. This is so stained. It will not come off. Frankie looked at this one wrong. Did I stain him? Remember? That's what you That's what you <sighs> joked about in the last yeah. video. It will rust if you look at it wrong. It will rust if you look at it wrong. It will rust if you look at it wrong. No, we're just, we're just bugging you guys. I know. 9CR18, we're still getting used to sharpening it. It was medium. It wasn't a soft. It wasn't a soft steel. It mm -hmm. wasn't a super hard steel. It was somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Just that's my impressions with it. But it seems it seems great so far. All and right. It won't stain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly as easily. I think oh, all steels are Did Frankie to it, go but, there? Yeah. I did. It's ultimately it's stain less <laughs> steel. But yeah. All right. We talked about the steel. Um, Has a decent flipper. Yeah, and actually there is some jimping on that flipper tab. Let's, yeah, show, a, let's show a close-up of okay. one of those here. I guess I can show you on another knife. Oh, there we go, Frankie. Are they the same? We're looking for continu <laughs> continuity, guys. Yeah. Triple action. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no jimping on there. Stiff detents on these. You cannot shake them out. I've tried. Frankie, your hand is so close. I'm not going to try real hard. Yeah, I did. They don't, they don't shake out. The detent is solid on these, as you can hear, the snappy action, right? Yeah, they are very snappy. Yep. Very nice, very nice. All pretty consistent uh, from one to the next. Yeah, jimping on that flipper tab, that's the only way you're going to be able to open these. Bearings. I did take this apart when I had the blade off. You'll see a picture of that now. And there is some skeletonization there on that pure gold. We'll talk about yeah. that in a second. But yeah, bearings. And these were clean. I will say inside this knife, very clean. I didn't really need to do any cleaning. I mainly just wiped it down a little bit and I added some lubrication. Bit. I added the 10 weight nano oil. And I think it just... It made it a little bit smoother. Mainly for that smoother. retraction is where I noticed this little bit smoothness. Smoothness. <sighs> smoothness. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. Yeah. It is textured D10. There it is. With the same color backspacer. On all of them, same color. And they all the have the gold liner. Yeah, let's talk about the liners. These are liner lock, all right? Mm -hmm. You can see... 18 karat gold liners. Right. It is 18 karat gold, all right? Mm -hmm. Not 24 karat pure gold. I mean, they're 4250. What do you expect? 4250, guys. You can't expect... 100% pure gold. No, all right, you so you're getting 18 karat on these. It is skeletonized to reduce some yeah. weight. Because gold do? is heavy. Gold is heavy. Should it we do some weight? It is very heavy. Okay. Yeah. No, Let's it's, it's uh, anodized steel liners. They're, they're. Um, I think these knives are going to be a little on the chunkier side. Yeah, I, mean, I think they're a little heavier. 5.20, somewhere in the middle. Not, I wouldn't call them lightweight. I wouldn't call them super heavy. Are you really going to do that? <laughs> well, this one's missing some blade steel. What was the... <laughs> look at look at how much blade steel I took off. You took off so <laughs> Hold much. Hold on. Now this one's got to be 5.25 though. Okay, let's see. Oh, that maybe just, that's why this one is. Just throw away our little. Uh, throw it. Throw it on the floor. All right. Uh, what are we at with that? Okay, and they're a little bit thicker too. The handle width is a little bit thicker. I can tell. A little tell. bit thicker on these. Yeah, I didn't look at the spec. I mean, it is a whale. I mean, it's a big old whale. Yeah. <laughs> big, old, big old birthday whale. 0.57. All right, yeah, definitely, definitely on the thicker side, right? 
It is right hand only. Sorry, lefties. That's old school bird shot. I know. Yeah, very deep carry, all right? The deepest of carry. Speaking of whale, this is like this is like the depths of the sea deep carry. What whales are at the bottom of the sea? They can go pretty far down. No, the sharks can, but what about whales? I think whales kind of stay up at the top more. I forget which one. We've watched stuff on this, but whales can go pretty deep. I okay. think sharks can go deeper, though. Yeah, sharks are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I like how serious I get. Sharks are amazing. You can't say anything bad about sharks. No, apparently. you can't. No, you yeah. can't. Um, T8 on all of the hardware. I always love it when they match hardware throughout mm -hmm. the knife. You right. only need one screwdriver out. It's great. Yeah, you just need the one Torx, and they're not using T6. I hate T6. Okay, T6 there you go, on the clip as well, same thing. T6 did a lot to me. We have a rough history together. <laughs> yeah. Awesome knives. Awesome knives for $42.50. What do they compare to? Well, they compare to the other Civi knives. Also, all $42.50. Uh, here's one. Do you have one? Yeah, I have one too. Okay. So, yeah, this is the Praxis right here. This one's growing on me even more, so I like this knife a lot. What is my favorite one called? The Backlash. Backlash, that's it. Yeah, that's got a deeper choil. Yeah, this is good, good deep choil. I'll show that real quick. Everybody loves a good deep choil. Make what you will of that. Yeah, it's a little bit deeper there. But there's the Backlash, there's the Praxis. These are the first three that the brand has introduced. Oh, you show on the box. And it comes with a nice case, too. Yeah, nice pouch, right? For $42.50, most of the time you only get a box. So well, you I get mean, a cleaning cloth, instructions. Instructions for the yeah. knife, yeah, yeah. And some... Don't cut yourself. Desiccant. And a salt temptation pack. <laughs> Do not eat. But right? yeah, that's. I think that's nice that you get a good pouch. Yeah. The Naja... My favorite of the first three, of the first three models. Frankie's favorite, I believe, is the Backlash. Backlash, yes. Yeah. The Praxis, though, is pretty cool. I gotta say, the Praxis is really cool. I like the beige with the gold, too. Oh, and you do see blue with the Backlash yeah. on all of the models? Um, yes. Yeah. yeah, the blue is only on the Backlash. Yeah. Backlash blue. Clips are all the same, aren't they? Mm, let's see. Let's check it out. I believe they are. Yep. <laughs> Makes sense. You're going to check for between the notches? Yeah, yeah. We I could, just wanted to turn them all over. You could swap clips, you know, have some different variety. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, pretty competitive, though. There's a lot of knives in the 50 and under, or say around $50 price category. Yeah, it's kind of a big category right now. Um, we could get out a million knives. There's a few to choose from. Right, I was going to say, I mean, below this, you've got Kaiser's, just a random example. This is the Kaiser Santa Fe. Kind Great of one knife, of the bigger studs. ones. I mean, just price-wise, these are going to be in the high 30s, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe 35, I want to say. And then the D2. The D2 stainless. <laughs> that's the artisan, uh, that's the littoral or literal, however you want to say it. You guys know we're pro Littoral. Pronunciation. Yeah. Well, somebody will tell us how to pronounce it. Oh, yeah. We, we love Thanks, that. Thanks, guys. We love that. <laughs> yeah. Now, these are in the, I want to say, close to $60 range. Um... Really, you're getting a lot for the money here in the forty-two fifty. Yeah, that's uh, great. Najas. Uh, I think we covered everything on them. Mm -hmm. We're really looking forward to seeing what they do next. Yeah, they these are the three Sidibi. colors that it comes into, and right. hopefully they'll make smaller knives because that's what we all want is a sub three inch knife. A Frankie knife. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, which color combo is your favorite? My favorite is the black and yeah, gold. Yeah, out of this one, the black and gold. Yeah, I'm reasonably happy with where I got it sharpness wise. Hmm, I don't know. 9CR. Lot sharper. Jeez. 9CR 18 MOV. Takes a nice polish, doesn't it? Woo. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Looks Very good. Nice. Yeah. Very smooth. Good stuff, guys. Our impression, our initial impression of these knives, you'll like them. Yeah. You'll probably like them a lot. Great, great value. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.